Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 17th of 2024 is titled Aurora Banks Peninsula. So what do we see here? Well, here we see another view of the Aurora. And we often look at and hear of the Aurora Borealis in the Northern Hemisphere. Well, this is the Aurora Australis down in the Southern Hemisphere. Now the cause is exactly the same. It's charged particles from the sun funneled along Earth's magnetic field lines toward the poles. And the North's magnetic pole and the South magnetic pole are both going to do the same thing. That's both where the field lines go into Earth. And that's where the particles are able to strike atoms in Earth's upper atmosphere, causing them to glow. And we see that distinct glow out here in the different colors, the greener down below and the redder colors up above caused by oxygen atoms at different levels within Earth's atmosphere. Now we've been seeing very prominent Aurora because of the active region known as AR 3664. And we've looked at many pictures of that over the past few days, as well as pictures of the Aurora. Now that sunspot group is now moved around the limb of the sun. So it's no longer affecting Earth. And we're not getting the powerful Aurora that we were from that uh, sunspot group. However, Aurora will continue to occur. The thing about that sunspot group was that it was such a powerful uh, force of sending out these charged particles that it was able to deform Earth's magnetic field a bit. And that allowed the Aurora to be seen at lower latitudes than they normally are. So regions in the temperate zones of the world were able to actually see the Aurora and that's something they usually don't does not occur there. Usually we see them at the far northerly or far southerly latitudes. Now here again we get to see that Aurora and we can note that again the Aurora is not a cloud. We can see some clouds there. Those are completely separate from the Aurora. The clouds if they're thick enough will block out the light from behind it. So you won't be able to see uh, with the clouds there, you would not be able to see stars. However, the aurora is just a glowing in the atmosphere. So it will cause extra brightness and make fainter stars hard to see. But you can see straight through it. It is just a glowing gas. So if you note many of those, especially in the upper regions there where it's not quite as bright, you can very easily see stars shining right through the aurora. Now the aurora are present here on Earth. They're also present on other planets in the solar system. Pretty much anything that has a magnetic field in an atmosphere. In the inner solar system, that's pretty much Earth. In the outer solar system, you could get the same kind of effect on the planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, as they all have relatively strong magnetic fields to focus these particles as well. So that was our picture of the day for May 17th of 2024. It was titled Aurora Banks Peninsula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.